Um, and then four years ago, I became partners essentially with like the biggest name in SEO in the world, Neil Patel. So all of this stuff kind of just combined at the right time to be able to do a project like this. After the years of experience of writing and the years of experience of learning about search and Google, it was just like the perfect timing. And then meeting Miko, who worked at Google and understands the same thing as well, and also has the same passion for animals and the movement and everything, it was just like the perfect storm that came together at the right time. Yeah, the universe works in our favor sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, when we met Miko at the conference and we found out that he used to work with Google, we thought, gosh, that's so interesting because it's kind of reminds us of like, you need to be part of the system to change the system. So, you know, the old know your enemy almost. And, and I, I say that because so many people are critical of Google's monopoly. And yet people like you and Miko and, and the whole sentient media team if you can use your knowledge and crack the Google code, then you're actually kind of infiltrating the system, if you like, and using it to your advantage to help the animal rights movement. Yeah, and it's cool too because there's plenty of people who do that in like a you know a very nefarious way, and like the way we're doing it is extremely ethical because we understand. I mean, Google's goal, like the end goal of Google is to provide, to provide the best experience for the user. Like that's what they care about. And I mean, over the years, there's been people that have figured out ways to rank content in Google, like using very sketchy methods and Google cracks down on that. They're constantly optimizing their algorithm to ensure that people aren't tricking it and, you know, ranking content that's garbage just to sell clicks or whatever. So, I mean, what we're doing is based on delivering the best experience for the user. So it's not like, like you said, cracking the code. It's it's not really, you know, cracking your code. It's just understanding how people search and understanding what they're looking for and providing that for them. To me, it might as well be cracking the code. <laughs> I feel like it's the most complicated thing. It's like some sci-fi movie. I would have been there with you. I would have been like, yeah, I don't know what these nerds are talking about, but now we're nerding it up together and making it happen. So it's cool. I remember when we were building our well, fourth website, you know, everyone kept talking about uh, SEOs. I kept calling it CEOs. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I got no idea. Just put up some good pictures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's the thing. That's what most people do. And like, there's nothing wrong with that because, you know, in your case, like you guys have created an amazing brand and your followers are following you guys, not because they found you on Google, they found you on social media, they found your videos, they love the two of you, they connect with your brand and you're driving tons and tons of direct traffic or referral traffic you know there are brands that don't necessarily even need the organic traffic so I mean it works really well for you and that wouldn't work for us like you know if, if it was just like posting pictures of <laughs> me and Miko people like all right this is the weirdest site ever and they would stop on the track <laughs> well thank you for that I feel like sometimes we're just kind of uh you're tripping, you're falling, you just keep doing whatever you think may work and sometimes it just comes together and it actually works. So yeah, that's sure. good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, what can the average person or activist or organization do to help their content rank higher? Do you have any tips that the lay person could apply to their online content? Perhaps firstly start calling it SEO and not CEO. <laughs> yeah, that, that helps. Um, but beyond that is just... Understand your user. Understand who you're trying to target. I mean, it goes. It's so much more about that than it is actually about writing. It's you know understanding who's your target audience and what do they want. Like, what are they looking to learn? What questions do they need answered? And then just provide it for them. Like that is, in a nutshell, the most important thing that you can do to rank is just providing the best experience for your target user. Not everyone. Don't cast you know a huge net trying to get every single person because that's never going to happen it's unrealistic you know focus on who you want to target and provide the best experience for those people and then eventually those people will become dedicated readers and they'll start sharing it and it'll start spreading like that from there nice you know we're thinking about you and sentient media recently because it reminds us of what we talk about in our activism workshops that we're giving uh, now on our activism tours and some of the talks and the speeches that we give and that that's that not everybody has to be an animal rights activist in the traditional sense as you said that was like the first march that you went to recently and you don't usually do the activism in yeah. the traditional sense like being out on the street but of right. course the movement needs people to contribute their unique skills in whatever 
they can, whatever way they can. And so I think it's really important that as vegans, we think about how we each can personally most effectively help the animal rights movement and then do that. So your background and your professional skills online and in media and marketing, um, now you've used that to help the animal rights movement. So it's just this beautiful fusion of what you used to do and your current, you know, um, new learned information and passion in life for animal rights and bringing those two together. I think that's super important. Yeah, I, I agree that we need to have as many different kinds of people active as possible. I was two nights ago, I had a long call with Priya from Direct Action Everywhere about her arrest when she went on stage during Jeff Bezos' talk in Vegas. And, um, you know, I couldn't stop telling her how courageous she is and how I just don't have a single, you know, gram of the courage that she does. I couldn't imagine having the gut.